Hey, what's up, guys? Spirit here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So today we're back on Clash Royale. We're going to be taking a look at this deck right here today. It's a Splash Yard deck. We're going to be using the brand new Dagger Duchess as well. So we'll jump into some games, see if we can pick up some wins. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Game number one. So he's got a mini packer badge, probably facing mini packer, which is usually rather interesting at least if i say so myself i think it is so princess will get two shots off unfortunately but he does have cannoneer which is actually perfect for me because if he's using a bait deck the dagger duchess pretty much destroys bait to be honest and the cannoneer is not that strong against graveyard so we'll get the ice wizard down i'm just leaking elixir you already know it's going to be a good one and this princess is getting infinite value it seems so we'll just go ahead and poison speller I'm glad I did because he went with the giant skeleton as well. We do have the knight ready. Plus we've got the... Okay, we'll bar barrel the archers. We'll go knight on for the giant skeleton. Knight's already down, of course. And there we go. So the knights will take everything out. The dagger duchess is now recharging. We do have the prince, the tornado ready for the princess in case we do see it. However, I'm just going to get a tombstone down as well. Just to make sure we don't take too much damage from the princess. If he did, of course, decide to... To deploy at the bridge which of course he didn't so we'll baby dragon at the back if he gives me the poison value i'll most definitely poison spell the what in the world okay hog rider bit of a strange one we'll just freeze him with the ice wizard there we go the dagger that chest did shoot the hog rider down very very quickly which is always very nice to see it's great to see a hog rider get destroyed and now what we can do is we'll go with the poison similar to before he will have the Evo Firecracker the next time, unfortunately, which makes life <laughs> rather difficult. Well, not necessarily difficult. That's probably not the word to use it, but it's just more of an inconvenience than anything. It's just, to me, it's a really annoying card to face, but again, we'll see what happens. So we've got the Baby Dragon ready any moment now. He'll probably go with the Princess sometime soon. There it is. And I'm just going to go with an Ice Wizard. I know it's a bit of a strange deployment, but we'll just go with it anyway. Ice Wizard will eventually take the Princess down without getting shot by the Archers. And then, unfortunately, he'll just have to sacrifice to the to the, the Cannoneer. So there we go. Baby Dragon's on the tower. Looking good so far. We do see the Giant Skeleton from the opponent. I'm just going to go Bar Barrel in the middle just to make sure that if he went Firecracker, it wouldn't lock onto the Knight. He decides to Arrows, which is a bit bizarre to me because it doesn't really make sense. The, the knight won't go down anyway. So we'll poison. We'll just win with spells at this point. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what this deck is in a nutshell. So we'll start a push going now. He did go with the hog rider now. So hog rider is down. We'll tornado everything over here. And then I'll just go over high knight. Then we'll bar barrel onto the princess and to the firecracker. Bar barrel should take the princess down and the firecracker down as well we'll go high tombstone for the giant skeleton plus the guards right there baby dragon onto the princess we'll tornado everything back he does actually go in with the hog rider as well we'll go with a second ice wizard although i think he'll actually get blasted by the bomb which wasn't really the best of deployments by me but again it's what it is unfortunately so now what we can do is i'm gonna keep spamming poison spells because we might as well do so if we can i will get a graveyard down eventually so don't worry <laughs> It will happen soon. So the firecracker gets taken out, which is really, really good. We do see the hog rider. We'll go in with the tombstone over here. I'm, yeah, I knew you had arrows. So we'll just go ice wizard. Just deploy it like an e-wiz. Why not? And now it's time for the graveyard. So we finally got there in the end. We've got everything down. We can poison spell. We've got the tornado as well, just to try and pull everything away if needed. But there's not really much you can do. And that's going to be the win. So good game. We pick up the win. Very, very late graveyard. Took us almost four minutes to get the graveyard down. But it worked. That's the main thing. Let's jump into the next one. Here we go. Game number two. We, If we win this one, I will get the unlucky drop, as I call it. And then I'm sure I'll probably get 10 legend... Uh, sorry, 10 rare wild cards. That's the one I was thinking of. So we'll see what happens. That's my prediction for it. Comment down below what you think I'll get in my lucky drop. I don't know what I'll get, but usually I just get 10 rare wild cards. So we see the Pekka. Bit of a strange one so far. Maybe he's got the Evo Bassaram. In fact, he probably doesn't because he's not got the, the, the pass. His name isn't gold. And unless he's used Evo shards. So I'm yet to see somebody do that though. So I'm not expecting the Evo Bassaram. So we see a bit of a strange one, this one. Pekka, Balloon, 
Executioner. I'm not really too sure. I'm not really too sure, but the Ice Wizard will probably allow the balloon to get one shot off, unfortunately. That's fine, though. The balloon did connect to the tower. Not much I could have done about it. And I fully expect this guy to have the skeleton army. So, <laughs> so the Ice Wizard will go down. I could probably go... Okay, he goes bats. Is he going to Pekka the bridge? I don't even know. We just cycle a bar barrel. Nothing really crazy or anything. He goes Pekka at the back. I'm tempted to just graveyard, but it's not really worthwhile because it just isn't. Hmm, bit of a strange one. So he'll probably go with the same play as before. He'll get the Executioner down any moment. Now I can... Yep, I was about to say it'll be right there. And there it is, so... Okay, so we get the Tombstone down. We do have Evo Knight at least, so that's something good. We see the Fireball. However, he did not hit the Tombstone for some reason, which is a little bit strange if you ask me. I mean, he could have hit the Tombstone, although the Executioner will take it out regardless, but still could have hit the Tombstone. And there we go. So we'll now go in with the Graveyard. We do have to, unfortunately, ignore the Balloon, although he did go with that. So I'm going to Tornado. We'll go in just to Tornado the Bats away. We'll Prediction Poison anything he deploys. We do actually see the Ewers. We have to lose the tower on the defense to the Balloon. Nothing I can do about it. Sometimes in the game, you just have to know when your towers go. And you have to pretty much trade towers. Otherwise, you're almost guaranteed to lose the game. So that's what happened right there. We had to do it. Luckily for me, it worked quite well. Because it resulted in me being able to take the... What in the world? Okay. We'll just tornado every... Oh, that was a really bad tornado, actually. I shouldn't have done that. Well, Bar Barrel as well. Bar Barrel takes everything down. We can get another Tombstone. Bit of a strange one. Really, really strange game, actually, if you ask me. But luckily, the Bloom got no damage, which is perfect. So we can go Graveyard. We can go with the Knight in the middle. Hopefully, both towers lock onto the Knight, which they do. He has to peck at the Graveyard, which to me is a little bit strange because I'm sure he would at least have one other card that's a bit better than a Pekka, but maybe he doesn't. Who really knows? So we'll get the Bar Barrel down. I'm not really too concerned about the Executioner or the Furnace on the, the right. We do see the Bloon in the middle. It will just get absolutely destroyed. We can go with a really high Tombstone, and then that actually avoids the Fireball too, which is perfect for me. Again, the Executioner, not a problem. Evo Knight is down. We can use the Evo Knight to try and cycle to another Knight. And then I don't think I have the Elixir to do so, though. So we'll just go with the Poison right here. We should hit the e -Wiz. We actually pick up the majority of the bats with the Poison. We'll just Tornado everything back to try and get the Evo Knight onto the tower. Luckily, the Evo Knight takes the Executioner down. We do see the Balloon, although it's not going to do anything. And there we go. We pick up the win. So game two was successful. We've now got the Lucky Drop. Let's see what I get. My prediction is 10 rare wild cards. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So we're opening it right now. It is a rare drop and we get gold. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Game number three. We do face another giant skeleton player potentially. He did have the giant skeleton badge, which is not ideal. It's a bit of a boring card to face. At least I think it is. And we'll just see what he's got there. So he might not even have it. Another executioner. Rather bizarre if you ask me. Back to back executioners. Again, it's not really... A card you face too often but who knows so baby dragons down we can try and get an ice wizard although i don't yeah we'll get the ice wizard we do see the man of the hour the wizard the signature card <laughs> so i'm tempted to just i'm gonna graveyard it's probably not a good idea but we'll go with it anyway i can always get the tornado down oh my word okay please take the wizard out okay good so the wizard goes down Unfortunately, he's got the Mega Knight. And then I can go with this. Okay, we've I forgot we had Dagger Duchess, which is always really good. And actually, that's perfect. I should have done the Bar Barrel really low, so then we would have got the King Tower. But I don't know. You, you think too late sometimes. <laughs> or sometimes maybe you just don't think at all. So we see the execution. A very, very strange push. She's actually got the... Ma the I nearly call it the Magic Archer. If you know, you know. But <laughs> I don't even know. This one's already an interesting game. So he, he was quite aggressive. I'm just going to go in because he was really aggressive with the arrows. Baby Dragon can actually tank for the graveyard in this case. And I don't think he will have anything. He's got Wizard. Wizard won't really do anything. 
We'll bar barrel the wizard just to try and take him out really quickly. One shot into the bar from the bar barrel, two shots and three. Perfect. And the tower's down to 500. So, so far, so good. I do fully expect a Mega Knight at the bridge. However, if you look at... What in the world? Okay. Bit of a strange one. Not what I expected whatsoever. And now we can just go all in with really nothing, actually, because I don't need to. We'll do a low ice wizard just to get the king tower. And then I'll go with a, an evo knight once the prince charges. There we go. And now we can just take the prince out. I fully expect the mega knight sometime soon. Any moment now. 3, 2, 1. Mega knight. There it is, of course. So we can get a tombstone down once again. With this one now, I'm just simply going to defend one crown to zero. There's no urgency for me to push or do anything that I may regret later on in terms of making a stupid push or anything like that. But now we can try and get... Actually, I just contradicted myself. I know I said I wouldn't push, but we might as well just get the graveyard down. Go with a really strange tomb zone just to block the the e -bobs. And then the tower is now down to 326. So we'll poison spell right here. I'm going to try this. Okay, it didn't really work, but I don't know what I was expecting. It's not a traditional wizard or anything like that. So down to 22. We'll go with a high bar barrel. I believe we hit the prince. Not really too sure though. And now uh, what I can do is... Do we try and go for the other tower or is that toxic? Hmm. I might go for the other one. Yeah, we may go for the other tower. Hopefully we don't lose the game. So we'll <laughs> see what happens. We'll go Evo Knight plus Graveyard. The king is up, unfortunately. We can always just bail out with the, the tornado if needed. We'll Tombstone over here in the middle. Evo Knight's onto the tower. And there we go. So the wizard at the bridge won't do it, my friend. Two crowns. Nope, sadly not. But there we go. We pick up the win. So good game. Very interesting deck. Not really too sure what it was. A bit of a bizarre one, if you ask me. But luckily, we still pick up the win. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. There is the deck. Feel free to try it. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.